Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is my follow-up video slash my review video on the Ed Charlie Ed Sleek Minimalist Wallet. And the first thing that I would like to call out in this video is the fact that this is actually in brown Crazy Horse leather, but for some reason that is not translating very well on camera today. I don't know why, maybe my camera is just having a bad day. But just to prove it to you guys, look, this is black. And that is brown. Another reference here. Uh, this is brown. I don't know why. So once I move these out, then the color just changes back. And I have no idea why. But anyway, bear with me, everyone. I have spent the last three weeks using this as my daily driver wallet. Now, initially, I didn't think that it was going to work out well. I honestly did not think that I'd be very comfortable having a minimalist wallet like that. Mainly because this only has two card slots but you guys can tell that I've actually stuffed in a total of six cards. Yeah guys, I need at least six cards with me. Of course, it has a through cash slot as well as a coin pouch. So this one is the part that really, really is something that I cannot live without. So yeah, this is really an awesome feature. But let's just talk about it right now and I won't be taking out all of my cards because yeah, you know, there's some sensitive information there because that's my ID. I've got a couple of credit cards. I've got a couple of ATM cards and I've got my transportation card. So yeah, total of six cards right there. And uh, I've got some coins in this coin pouch. I've still been using it. And of course, the cash in the cash slot. Now you notice that I actually folded it up into thirds and that's the first thing I will talk about, the through cash slot. Now I was telling you guys that the only way for me to really understand the use or the point of a through cash slot is to actually use it and experience it. And so I have, and I have to say that the application of a through cash slot in a wallet that is of this particular style, you know, a minimalist style, I think that the through cash slot really shines here because sometimes, you know, you don't even know which way you're actually holding the wallet. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you can access the cash slot in either orientation. I think that's great. And the fact is that I've actually filled up all these slots with enough stuff that this whole thing remains rigid and that the cash, because it's folded in thirds, is thick enough that it won't fall out. So I've never experienced any cash falling out of this wallet over these three weeks that I've been using it. The only thing is that, yeah, you know, when you fold your cash into thirds, it means that you have to kind of take it out first and then unfold everything, get the right amount of cash that you need. For example, if I want to pull out this $5 note, pull this out, make your payment, receive your change, put it back in in whatever kind of orientation or order that you want, fold it back into that thirds and you can see I'm actually kind of fumbling right now. Then insert it back into the cash slot and be on your merry way. That means that it's not as straightforward as if, say for example, you're using a bifold wallet, but it works out fine anyway. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now on to the next point, and that is me having six cards in total. I unfortunately am not able to get into that lifestyle of carrying very, very little with me. However, I do understand that there are many people out there who are able to embrace that minimalist lifestyle and just go out with maybe one or two cards max. And that card could be like a multi-purpose card. It could be like your credit card, your transportation card and whatever. But for me, my transportation card, my credit cards and my ATM cards are all separate. Maybe for example, you could tell me that, you know, I could have just carried a debit card, but that's just not the way it works for me, I guess, because there are certain rebates that I get whenever I tap my credit card and then I might want to make payment with the ATM or the debit card instead for something that I'm purchasing and I like to keep that separate from my transportation card but that's just the way I roll you know everyone has a different preference but I have to say that even though this initially had just two slots and I assume that it's meant to be only holding two cards look I'm holding six cards with no problem right no problem at all but I have to say that this doesn't really translate perfectly well in terms of using the quick access slot here because sometimes I actually push up more than one card like for example right now in this instance I actually pushed up two cards instead of one so that could be mitigated if you're using a single card in that slot but for me i just push it up and then i slide out the frontmost card which is my transportation card and then just tap it on the gantry and walk through that's how i use it right now of course this process could be a lot more i guess streamlined if there was just one card there but i want to let you guys know that yep it's carrying six cards with no problem that however adds possibly a bit more rigidity to the point that it's quite difficult to access the coin pouch because right now with six cards in here as well as that thick amount of cash yeah, i mean it's not really that thick but it means that there's less room for flex in this particular wallet and so it's a lot more rigid which makes it a little bit more difficult or troublesome i should say to access the coin pouch you really have to dig in 
and yank this open in order for you to access your coins. And at the same time, you want to give the wallet a little squeeze along the sides so that you can kind of expand this slot a little bit more so that makes it easier for you to remove these coins. It's not a problem when inserting coins back in though, you can just drop them in just like that because you know, there's a flap right there. And because it's so rigid, I have to say that there are many times when uh, due to this rigidity here, caused by me of course. Whenever I push my finger in, I actually fold the flap down so far by accident that it's quite cumbersome to kind of take out again. That's something that, you know, I really wanted to point out. It's not really an imperfection. It's not really a flaw. It's just, I guess, something that you should take note of. I don't really know what to call that because that is caused by myself. Now, with all the coins out, I'm going to pull out all the cards and set them aside. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to show you Yep, I gotta take that out of frame because I don't want you guys seeing my credit card number. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna show you, oh yeah, I still have the cash in there, sorry. I wanna show you how much this thing has expanded <laughs> through my use. Yeah guys, I've been using this, like I said, as my daily driver for the past three weeks. It's been in my back pocket or my front pocket and I actually found it very convenient to have in the front pocket because this thing is just so sleek. But because of the amount of cards that I actually stuffed this thing with, Yep, the leather definitely has stretched a little bit and you could see all the wear marks on the side here. But I personally feel that all these marks created by use gives any wallet, especially in Crazy Horse Leather, a lot of character. It just shows that, yeah, you've been using it and it's a very personal thing. But all in all, I got to say that this has served me very, very well, way better than I expected. I was thinking that I wouldn't be able to carry more than four cards in this thing, but I was and have been pleasantly surprised that I'm able to use six cards with this particular slim wallet, therefore making it not very slim, but it serves my purpose and my intent and it's been serving me very, very well. Now, if I were to fit this back with just two cards, now let me just put my uh, transportation card here and let me slide another card in here. Now, this is a lot more easy to access because there's a lot more room for flex. Just two cards, this flexes a lot more. You could easily just bend this like that and it opens up the slot here to access your coin slot a lot easier, see? There we go, just like that. And then you could just reach in, pull it out, and grab your coins. The last thing I want to mention before giving you my final verdict is that there is this slot here and I did not attach anything to it because I didn't see or feel any need to. This really sits very well in my pocket. Like I mentioned, back pocket, side pocket but this also slots in very well into a shirt pocket this thing doesn't protrude out at all it doesn't stick out too much to a point that you look like you have a square brick in your pocket so in terms of that being discreet and not overly uncomfortable or just jarring this is perfectly fine you can however attach a key ring here and then use this possibly as a lanyard kind of card holder if you would like now my confidence in this particular cash slot is very very high and also because I've been using this for the past three weeks, the confidence level that I have in this through cash slot is also very, very high. So I would feel definitely comfortable using this as a neck lanyard kind of card holder. And that is something that in terms of confidence, I would definitely vouch for. And with all that said, guys, this is my final verdict. This wallet does exactly what it's set out to do. Ed Charlie didn't upsell this with random facts and random features. I also mentioned to you guys that the craftsmanship and worksmanship on this thing is really good. It's been standing up against my daily usage over stuffing the card slots here. And of course, loading the coin pouch with a lot of coins. As you can see, there are some circular marks here caused by those as well. And this thing sitting in my pocket. And for the price of 45 Singaporean dollars, which translates to about 33 US dollars, I would say that this is really quite a steal. Now, of course, that price point is for this particular version of the Ed Sleek made in Crazy Horse Leather. But this is also available in other materials. And of course, with other materials, there are going to be other price points. So the bottom line is for 45 Sing dollars or 33 US dollars, this is a pretty good value for money. Is it my favorite wallet? I would say no, this isn't my favorite wallet. But is it my favorite minimalist wallet? Yes. I would say with confidence, yes, this is my favorite minimalist wallet because it's got everything that I need. And you guys already know, the coin pouch is really, really important to me. So having this coin pouch and this particular type of coin pouch with this locking flap or this security flap here, this is just, this is the main winner for me. And with the through cash slot, I believe this is really just personal preference. There is a standard cash slot version of the Ed Sleek, but after using the through cash slot, yep, you know, I like it. I like it. 
quality on point, craftsmanship on point, and without any upselling of random fluff features on this wallet, yep, I would say that this offers very good value for money and is a good option for anyone looking to get a slim minimalist wallet. I believe that for the best experience, it would be to have just two cards in here. So if you are someone who is not like me and is able to go about your day to day using just two cards, a little bit of cash and some coins, then this might just be perfect for you. For me personally, you know, I carry a lot more stuff. It's a personal thing, but that might not be you. And so, like I say again, this might be the perfect wallet for you. And with that said, my verdict is done on the Ed Charlie Ed Sleek. And at this point, I want to thank Ed Charlie again for sending this over to me and giving me the opportunity to not just look at it or review it, but to really experience it in the way that I want to. And being transparent to all of you guys, they did not give me any guidelines on this thing. So I just did whatever I wanted to do. And therefore I ended up with six cards in this minimalist wallet. If you are enjoying this video so far, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and make sure that you hit the notification bell. Alternatively, another great way to support the channel is over on Patreon. I'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out. We do have Patreon exclusive content there as well as patron only giveaways from time to time and if you do become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance and that is it everyone we've come to the end of this slice of my life i really appreciate the time once again this is the ed sleek ideal slim minimalist wallet in crazy horse leather brown in color of course by ed charlie and i will catch all of you in the next slice